Oh, fans, here again. So about the weather, but as you can see, it's too fucking pissing it down. But that's not why I'm speaking. As you know, I'm still talking about the video on Nastis, and I'm talking about this one the other day. That was um, a look at Cabalotas. But now I'm not talking about a look, I'm talking about the movie itself. That's right, there was Istinus and the daddy of the video on Nastis. As you know, a lot of cannibal films during the 70s were getting popular. But most of them was your typical cannibal, I should say your typical jungle adventure films. And it's like a bit of a wild to start like that. It does have a beautiful story to it. You know, it's hard to hum a song, but I could if I could get away with it. It goes la la la. La la la. I'm not going to do the rest because I won't do it justice. But it really has a really beautiful story to it. And like most cannibal films, it does show a lot of beautiful jungle scenery. It does show a lot of jungle, not on set like you see nowadays. This is shot on a, on a real fucking jungle. What was it offensive for the actors who starred in this? Let's come on the film. They only know in the bio of the film what I was doing. They signed a contact with a director that it'd be so many months when we do another film. But you want to join the that, just go back to the one I was doing called a look at um kind of what toss now i do know originally it was going to be called the teen inferno which is funny enough there's a movie now called the teen inferno which is a cannibal film so basically it's about these lung people who are doing a biography on cannibals and cannibalism and going to the native jungle to 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 meet real life cannibals and they go missing and to cut the story short they send this guy who's like um, a cheetah which i said was played by a real porn star that good performance he really does play it well so at first you've got these soldiers to shooting cannibals a bit of shit effect one of them gets shot in the face just for sock fire you can see it's a fucking dumb eh? But I do like the bit with the cannibals are fighting darts over there. It feels like a jungle shooting up at a fencer at first. But then, like I say, you get this guy, he's like a professor, and he, he um, goes and looks for these um, the lung people. He meets some natives on the way. And um, remember that, they are cannibals. There's a bit of rape and a bit of blood in door. Again, a lot of animal cruelty. There's a bit where they kill this little rodent with a thick knife. You know, it's streaming in pain. Didn't really think it was fucking needed. But, uh, like I say, on the way, there is a bit of a really disturbing bit. I remember saying this, where this dog gets, sort of gets raped, but he's getting tortured. And so that's a wooden, this die has this piece of wooden thing. And he stuffs it, so putting tea there, he stuffs it down there and he messes it inside up. Now that ain't bad enough, he gets a walk and then he literally basses a fucking head in. Nice. He literally basses a fucking head in. It's an odd scene of what, and even I go like that. It is not nice. Really not nice. But as the film goes on, like I say, they meet these natives and the guy realises that they've been killed. All these students. These people are doing this research on cannibalism. They've all been brutally murdered. You find the aftershots of all the bodies, all rotten torpses and skeletons because of the sun. But the one thing they managed to save is to tell them what they were filming. They were doing this biopsy affair. And they managed to save the film. So he takes it back to America to cut the story short. He takes it back and he wants to review the last footage of what they've done. They've got this one guy, as it's a teen up. And one thing I do with this film, I do like this film, even though it's an hard film to watch. I like the fact this is before Bear Rich Taff. This was before you had found footage films. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? It's very definitely dumb because the bits where they saw the footage of them in the jungle, they use what they call a 4K film and they sort of blow it up and they make it look teary -hated. And then when you get into the film itself and it's the people talking in America and all that, they use the six millimetre tamda. They use two millimetre tamdas to give you that offensive look like they were in the jungle, which does the word in the jungle. 
and at first there's having a bit of harmless fun lasting diggles and the film what there's fine but as you find out what the film goes on they've got an evil streak every single one of them has an evil streak there's a bit where they kill a turkle again no need for animal cruelty word of warning if you're eating anything and you've got a sensitive stomach you like to bite your fucking ducks up. They actually turn this poor turkle inside out. There's a bit where I remember right, they'd burn a finnids. And that's the same I said when they shoot a pig. Again, animal cool there. And the burn a finnids, they kill two natives. They're very bad enough. The lad and this girl were bonking one another on the asses of the remains of the people they've burnt alive. Lovely, eh? So this is your idea, they've got an evil streak. One of the dies gets killed, I think he puts a shoe on and there's a snake and it bites his leg and they cut his leg off but he don't get it in time and he ends up bleeding to death. And like I said, there's a bit again of an animal cool there, they kill a monkey, there's a bit with a tarantula, in fact we went one there, I think it's a black riddle spider, whatever, they cut it in fucking half. Just animal cool death. Animal fucking cool death. That's what made this film benisterous. Apart from people forget with snuff. And as the film goes on, I mean, there's a bit where they get a dirt, he's a native dirt, the dang raper. Again, sock for sock. And the bit what's the worst is of all, they get this pregnant woman with these cannibals are attacking, they kill the baby, I'm not going to say what they do. I'm really not going to say, but the bastard are ready enough to kill the baby. I just thought, and that's the bit what does have an interesting bit the incest story because the diamond and half an hour trying to save the film spends another half an hour trying to get the film burnt and destroyed. Because what you're seeing is just nastiness, it's not them down to do research, they're just arming people for the fun of it because it looks date on the time. Nah. First, we've got this woman and this TV network, and they think, no, no, we've got an edit. It's the last, the last review they've ever done. We've got to go to Teen Inferno and blah blah blah. So he says, no, the material is nasty and it's offensive. But he's like, okay, okay, he gets them to watch it, and when they see it, like I say, the bit where they rape the native woman, some real other disgusting bits, they realise. There's no way in the world they're going to air this on fucking TV. No way in the world. So it gets to the interesting bit. Well, it's saying such a bit. That's after seeing that, there's a famous bit, which we all remember, where the pole, like I just said, the woman's anus, in the mouth, blood everywhere. The bit of making of that is, in real life, all they used was a bicycle pump, a fake pole, fake blood on the woman's face, and she had to hold her mouth and... The rest of the special effects, but even today that was so socking. So, but it was to do with what they raped. Apparently, the cannibals didn't like that, so the killers. It's an horrible rape, and they filmed it. And at first, they're making out it's beautiful, and then when they realised they're filming the time, they're like, oh no, oh no, it's terrible. These savages, and you know it's bullshit in the day. But his big mistake is after that the cannibals want to get them, and they're hunting them. And they're killing them one by one, they get the dice dirt and they get a rape scene again. And then that ain't nasty enough to cut a fucking head off. Then they're killing them one by one. Then the one who's the main character, the stummy of them all, he gets killed. But I love the bit where you think the time is going to cut away. I love that scene. Because you see it cut away, fade, and it comes back on and you see the after sorts of the die, the main character, and his fucking head basting. And it's the end of that part of the film. But I do love the response of all the people who's watching this. They're sort of like how I'm feeling. Socks. All off. It sort of like reminds me of what uh, Mary Whitehouse would have been looking at when she got to that bit. There's a doubt she did. But I do love the bit where they phone up and they just say, burn the tape. The woman that wants to put it on TV looks like our main man. So to say, yep, you're in the right. And then she walks away. But I do love the monologue at the end. He walks out of the room and he says, who's the real cannibals? And then he walks off. You get that beautiful theme tune again. End of movie. 
But I like Cannibal Horror Tour, you know what I mean? I like it. I'm not saying it's a masterpiece. I'm not lying. There's a lot of rape. There's a lot of animal sorts. A lot of animals getting killed for real. And you want to go into the history, go to the one I did the other day. I look at Cannibal Horror Tours. Yep, it was the one what started the video nasty off. It started the video nasties off. And you know what I mean? There's a lot of cycles that were taken off. Doing this, but it's still a very well made film. Very well made. It's like I say, I love the fact that the director used an idea of using the six millimeter on the film and then he used a four millimeter and made it all deteriorated looking before the found footage. I love the fact that they used real jungle and so on. He used a good footage of the jungle, and you know I mean, and I can see it had sort of a story to it, it wasn't just to sock it out. But at the same time, I can see why it's not everyone's cup of tea. But I'm not one of them for banding. I mean, go back to what I just said in the look of kind of a lot of talk. The film became being noiseless, became disturbing. The director got took to court. He thought the actors got killed for real. Go back to what I said in a look of kind of a lot of talk. And, you know what I mean? It made big headlines. But now it's popular. It's This is a stoke tacit. For good reason and a good status. It's a very interesting film. If you get past the horrible bits, well, I feel cheap in it, like the animal torts the scenes. That's a star rating for me. Fuck it. I do a four star rating because it is a very well made film. You've got a beautiful theme tune. The acting's dud, even though there's a bit of dubbing in it because it's a dubbed film. I don't think the dubbing's that bad. So that's Cannibal kind of Horror into them, be smart, be safe, I'll see you later.